How's it going everyone, Rocky here and today I'm bringing, bringing you a little video and we're just going to discuss a few points that I feel that needs to be addressed. Um, it's been getting worse. Um, a lot of people are going to say obviously this has been in since the start of the game and this has always been a problem. Why have I not maybe brought this up before but I mean I've always kind of just got through it. I've always managed to find a way and it's worked okay and just recently uh, since this title update 4 it has been the worst experience for me in my opinion. Um, I need to know yours down below. Let me know how you guys are feeling. I know a lot of people that I've talked to online has given up already. They just don't play Gears, um, which is such a shame to see because, I mean, this game franchise is everything and it's all I want to play. It's all I want to do. Support, make content and stream and just have fun. And Gears of War will always be a thing, but I mean, it's, there, it's getting to the stage now where it's getting really, really frustrating. To even make content and to even try and do anything because of the way the matchmaking is the way that this is and this is why i'm making this video today kind of just to address this and hopefully maybe we could get something going here maybe the more people talk about it we might get something going that's what i would like to see and um, so straight out the bat i'm just going to say guys if you do enjoy this video make sure to leave a comment down below and drop a like and if you don't like this then leave a dislike and we can kind of get a comparison but I believe that we need to get rid of this matchmaking, skilled based matchmaking rubbish. It doesn't work for Gears. I feel the community is too open, there's not enough good players, or all the good players are scrimming or playing Escalation, and when it comes to TDM and King of the Hill and stuff, and Guardian, we're not getting the, the wide variant of people playing the game. So when it comes down to like searching, and AKA for me, for, for example, uh, I'm Masters, okay? Say I'm Masters and I'm searching a ranked match, I get put in that match and I mean when I say I get teammates that don't know how to play the game and they're dropping donuts and they are getting zero kills in my lobby and we're losing how is that fair how is that even how is that even a matchmaking matchup it should not exist they are literally bronze players and they're getting put in my team so and I'm still coming across four stacks four or five stacks it happens all the time it happens all the time and it's getting to a stage now where it's just driving me out it's driving me crazy and the thing that drives me even more crazy is, say I'm trying to do a character gameplay. For example, I was trying to do Cantus on Friday and I literally blew up, man. I, I, I played for three hours straight just to get a character gameplay, which on any other Gears of Wars I would have managed to do within, within an hour. It's three hours I searched for and I got Locust once. I backed out once because I got pissed off and I, it put me into the clog and I was like, I'm just going to back out quickly and search again. I didn't get a penalty for the first time, but... If I kept doing that, I would have been banned from playing and the matchmaking I would have been banned because that's what happens. So I got away with that. But yeah, you should not be able to search for a game for over three hours and get Cantus once. It's just bullshit. And when I did become and get Cantus, I came across a 4-5 stack and I had a teammate that dropped one kill and I had another teammate that dropped one kill and had minus 25 points. How is that even a thing? How is that even a thing? Minus 25 points in two rounds? Bro, that doesn't make sense. But he was in my team. That's what drove me up the wall. And as you can see in the background here, here's another example of just trying to find games, all right? This is free for all. The brand new game mode that everyone loved and you can actually jump in, be the character you want and you could be, do what you need. Like This is perfect for content creation. Perfect for people that are playing solo, jump in and have fun. But we can't find a game <laughs> we can't find a game so that needs to be fixed something needs to be done because this is not right it's we cannot find a game of free-for-all and i'm not even lying when i say this this will go to about 20 minutes but i'm not going to keep talking for 20 minutes because i want to go on about other things that i feel that it would be much more uh better and much more easier for us in the community for us to get through it so um yeah guys let me jump on to the next subject and i want to hear your feedback on this guys the simplicity of gears of war 2 and gears of war 3 matchmaking in my opinion worked the best okay what i actually loved that we could do uh, was going into seeing our stats and seeing our things and our ranks and stuff like that like this is what i think needs to happen because this bullshit like fake masters rank i am and all the other people that i'm playing with are getting diamonds and bronzes and and we're losing points for getting MVP. You win a game, you don't get points, you actually lose points sometimes. The system doesn't work. And I feel that we just need to come away from this fully 
in my opinion, we need to just come away from this. It doesn't work for Gears of War. The ELO system, if it does work, it has to work and it has to be another game because CSGO makes it work. It works perfectly on them. I think Halo's got it, but Gears it isn't working. So please, can we just get ranked leaderboards like this? I mean, this is what I want. I want to see my friends. I want to see me. I want to see top 100 and I want to just have fun. That, that, like, this is what I feel is fun. And if an all time leaderboard, a weekly leaderboard and like a monthly leaderboard, I just think this is the simple thing that we need to get going again because this is fun and I'm not even lying guys you must think this was the best thing and if you go to yourself you can find how good you've done this week I mean I haven't done well this week but you know what I mean though I mean like you could click into these things check people's KDs for the week check who you're chasing up your friends comparing and around the world it is fun I feel this is the best system and the most practical one for Gears of War and um, so in my opinion guys I would love to see this just seeing your KD win loss and that kind of stuff I feel this is the best and um, I want I just really want to come away from the actual matchmaking that we've got in Gears 5 at the moment because it's just not good it really isn't it's it, it's disheartening it's also the more you play the more you feel you're getting punished by actually playing because you're going down a rank when you're winning and getting MVP and you and you still lose like it, it just doesn't work so I would love to see something changed a complete overhaul and just get replaced with the brand new system that we could put in place like the old Gears of Wars let me know what you guys think down below and um, if you think that's a good idea and if not what could be done to fix the one that we've currently got in Gears of War 5 I would like to know guys now I know a lot of people in the collision and I know a lot of people they are hard working people and they do love Gears of War there's no doubt about it okay this is no hate towards these guys this is literally some criticism and also trying to give some feedback to get something going here because this is not going well for me in my opinion and um, I don't know about you guys but a lot of people that I know personally in my group that are trying to make content trying to stream and trying to have fun and keep Gears going it's going down it's it's not a positive way it's the more people i talk to the more people are leaving the more people are quitting gears of war and it's horrible to see and it's making me disheartened as well and i'm seeing it more since this last update since free for all has not been able to play there's been less folk on this game and including myself i cannot find the game so this needs to get sorted man um and I'm also another thing that I want to talk about is this customization, okay? So this is a good little thing that they've got going here, okay? You can download and you can buy a totem and work on them and stuff like that. But some of these things are ridiculous. The things that you have to do in a totem to to unlock this character, it's ridiculous. Like there's things that people have to grind months for or weeks for after you've bought it. I don't think it, the, the, the things that they've got going here is positive. They need to change it or lower down something just to make it a little bit more easier because I'm not a, as much people has enough time to earn and grind their way to get these and the horrible thing as well guys is uh, the skins for these characters so obviously um, the store comes out okay you, you find a character you like aka the bolter okay you purchase the bolter but you've purchased him if you don't have the original locust drone you cannot use this character that's bullshit in my opinion that's that's bullshit that shouldn't be a thing um they need to fix that and obviously weapon skin sets i mean i know they've been working on their store recently the prices have been down there has been an improvement on the to like the actual iron and the prices and all that kind of stuff but i definitely would like to see full weapon skin sets i mean full weapon skin sets for uh like a decent price and stuff like only giving us like half a half a skin set and only like five weapon sets and five and you have to purchase every single one it's just not cool it's just not cool so i would definitely like to see something sorted there and then just one more little thing i'm going to add into this video um i've been saying this for ages man i really want my scotland flag in gears 5 now it's got to a stage six months into the game and i still don't have scotland i know there's other countries out there aka wales england there's obviously other ones out there as well that i've not mentioned that people deserve their flag i mean why why put in cameroon why um why put in austria i mean for example why why put in i mean el salvador 
why not put Scotland? It's part of the UK, one of your biggest, like, there's pro players from Scotland that compete in the gears, I mean. I don't know any El Salvador pro players. I don't know any Chinese players. Like, really? <laughs> this is no hate. This is just that kind of thing. I mean, going back to Gears 4, there was much more flags. It shouldn't be a big deal to add a flag. So, I'm just saying this one more time. Please, please just add it in for me. <laughs> please. Um, but, yeah, guys. I mean, thank you for listening here, guys. This has been a little ramble session. It's me been just speaking my mind. I just have to get this off my chest and get some feedback and put it out there because, I mean... I'm struggling here man I'm struggling I cannot find games I can't make content because it takes three hours to to actually get a character and once I get that character as I said and explained the whole situation with the actual players that you get in your team it is disheartening and you've automatically lost as soon as you go in that game you've lost but yeah guys thank you so much for listening hope you have a great day guys leave your comments down below and also rate this video and I'll hopefully get some feedback for you guys and hopefully we can get something going here man i would like to see a change and it needs to happen soon guys thank you for watching and i'll talk to you guys later peace